It's not dangerous, is it? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. If your package contains anything like that, then maybe you should check with Albedo first and see what he thinks. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. Tomatoes! Too gross! What are you two chatting about? Oh, hey, you two. Uh, we're just talking about a strange package that Sucrose received recently. A strange package? Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Mondstadt. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. I think I've seen Timaeus with some similar looking cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've, you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> Maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. Oh, you meant these? Huh, Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatonic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. It's called Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG! Yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place, but this is the first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Mondstadt. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House and Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The story is really good. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King has been captured inside. It turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the casket of tomes. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. Uh, Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? Uh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay. <clears throat> well, uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. I've committed to not even touch Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh? Why is that? Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. Oh, right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter. Okay, fine. Paimon's curious and would like to give it a try. Please? Although, it seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, because Timaeus has given up for a while. <laughs> well, research is my priority, you know. But if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tale. 
Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Understood. Traveler, Paimon, let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! You must have a whole bunch of questions after our last conversation with Nahida. Paimo was ready to ask her a million more questions, but didn't want to seem too pushy. Like, about these descenders. So, does that just mean people like you, who come traveling to Tevat from someplace uh, else? Alchemy truly is and that's for your sister. How can I help you? <sighs> so many questions. Let's go find Nahida and see what else we can find out. Thank you. 